Hey everybody, Chuck here. Long time no, uh, no in touch. This is another update on the personal track vehicle. And we're going to talk about the torsion suspension for the bogies for this unit. There's the severely neglected uh, frame and track. Uh, we left off last time um, talking about that stuff. And now we're down to the suspension. If you recall... My goal has been to make some sort of a torsion suspension and you have to watch my other videos, subscribe or look back and see them. And uh, this is kind of what we were looking at is a, you know, square tubing, another square tubing inside, simple rubber cord. And I explained all that on previous videos. There's one looking from the end with a rubber cord that's really pushed in there and it uh, that would be a lot stiffer. So anyway, that was my goal, and this is what I've come up with right here. I have uh, four pairs of uh, bogies, arms, on the frame. We talked about that last time. The frame is going to go up inside the unit and either pin or be bolted in there. And uh, so here we go. Um... Yeah, I'll just show you down here if we can see, uh, get the right kind of light here. There's my suspension units. There's one, two, three, four. If you look closely, you can see the rubber cord. Here's how I made them. I took square tubing here. I'll give you some measurements at another time. This is just trying to be a brief update. Here's the arm where the wheels go through, 5 16 bolt. Put a little, uh, like a, I call it an axle housing in there, half inch diameter steel tubing. And uh, this is a little bit more than a 45 degree angle. Square tubing goes in the inside. Rubber tubing, excuse me, rubber cord right here. You don't want to use tubing. It has to be solid rubber cord. This is 3 8 And uh, when it's pressed in there, when a vise pressed, pressed it all together, this moves just a little bit. Thus, the whole arm moves a little bit, and each one of these four suspension arms with dual bogey wheels will have their own independent suspension. And quite frankly, I've never seen anything quite like this. I built the whole unit together, welded this all together, then I, then I put the cord down in it. So, otherwise, you don't want to put the cord in here and weld that because you'd meld everything. You can't tell from uh, one-handed here, but if you push on this thing... It gives me just enough bounce that uh, will take care of the any vibration, um, which is mostly what I was interested in, from your feet, because I want to go long distance with this thing. And plus it gives half inch, inch um, of, a, of a bounce as you run over rocks or small twigs or anything like that. You don't need much more than a couple inches mm, of uh, suspension. So... The beauty of this system is I made four I made brackets on each side, one, two, three, four, and brackets on this side. And what I did, I just took a piece of square stock that would fit in the middle of the suspension unit. You can see this pretty easy. I know you guys are sharp out there. You don't need me to walk you through it, but here it is right here, the best I can show you. And uh, the beauty of this system is is everything can be taken apart real easy. The the arms slide. But they don't, they don't rotate this way because they're tight. That square tubing is real tight tolerances. And even the, even the bar stock here will slide out. So what I'm going to do is I'll put a cotter pin. Where are they at? Right here. Three sixteenths cotter pin by two inches. Drill a hole here. Drill a hole here. Of course, this will be centered. Drill a, drill a hole here, drill a hole here. Cotter pin on this end and this end will keep this center square tubing from sliding back and forth in the brackets. And the other two will keep the arm itself from sliding on this square stock. Beauty is four cotter, well, yeah, four cotter pins, pull them out, and you can slide the whole thing apart. Plus, the wheels only have one bolt. So anything can be taken apart, it can be modified. There's not much fixed to it because there's no moving parts. The rubber rubber cord right there is pretty much indestructible. Um, 
quite honestly I'm going to redo the whole thing because I didn't like it's not exactly perfect because of uh, I didn't jig it up like I should and I don't like I don't like uh, a little bit of the you can't tell from the video but it's not as exactly well you can probably sell this one's a little bit crooked and um, I don't like that and I have a way to fix all that so I'm gonna redo these things plus uh, I need uh, seven inches from the top of the frame to the bottom I want seven inches between the top of the track and the bottom and I only got six right here uh, another thing is as you make them all the same I ended up with uh, nine inches from here to here nine inches from here to here nine inches from here to here I like all that um, three times nine is 27 basically 28 inches of um, of a footprint and my other track vehicle which is sadly over there with that broken uh, that broken uh, differential which is right there uh, we talked about that last time it's um, going to give me uh, 28 inches versus that one 24 plus I'll have the suspension so I hope you're uh, hope that gives you an idea I have not seen anything quite like this out there it's really simple um, I can't see any difficulty in it other than, like I said, getting the angles, cutting the angles for the arms. Um, these are just like two inches. Uh, just, you have to grind off the corners a little bit on those so it slides, so it, so it rotates ever so little. Just a little bit of rotation, a little bit of rotation like this in there will give you quite a little bit of give on there. And you only need an inch or two. All right, there's my update on that. Short and sweet. Also, there's my wonderful Life Fan engine, my 390 um, CC Life Fan with a Series 40 torque converter from Go Power Sports. Happened to be at a Harbor Freight the other day. Well, it's been a month now. Saw this Predator uh, 420. Had three little X's on it. At that minute, it was returned to the store, returned to the headquarters they shipped it out they can't sell it as new they have to sell it as used and it was such a super price so i could not not pick that up and the beauty of this is here we go electric start because i want all, all along i wanted a battery and an alternator and uh we're gonna go with that so switch the torque converters over i got an extra engine that's pretty cool um two of those suspension units we're working on also Hey, I'm going to close you with this thought. Um, you notice none of my videos have uh, um, commercials. And uh, I don't like commercials on YouTube. I understand how they have to have them. But if you're interested uh, in sponsoring me, it's not just for the build. That may be something you're sympathetic to. I'm trying to help everybody that gets to me and give them uh, diagrams and give them uh, PDFs of the, the sprockets that we have down here. Trying to be very helpful, but I thought, you know, you have not because you asked not. If you're interested in sponsoring me, there's my PayPal address. Just send me a couple bucks or send me whatever, you know. I'm also a preacher. Maybe you figured that out by now. And sometimes we just pass the plate. That's all I'm doing here. I'm passing the proverbial plate. If you want to help me, that's fine. If you don't, I'm going to continue doing the videos because I love it. But my goal is to, and you've, some of you have seen this before, is go across the United States on a personal track vehicle. And uh, it'll be, I'm still planning on this year, spring of 2019, if I can get, get her done. It's 3,200 miles. Figure it'll take me uh, quite a while, maybe three months, two months, depends on who I see and so forth. And uh, you may be sympathetic to that cause. So if you're interested in helping me out, no push, no shove. I'm just having a blast building these things and... And sharing what little knowledge I have and and uh, love 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 the whole idea of this all right well I'm gonna let you go for now and as always I wish you the best and I not only wish you the best I bless you and I uh, thank God for you and uh, I pray that you're having a good life and that life's treating you well and if I can end, ever be of any help in, in any other situations in life uh, let me know you can respond to the YouTube channel there or catch me at my other address and I'll be always pretty quick at trying to get back and, and help you any way I can. I really appreciate you watching the videos. And uh, as always, I want to leave you with the thought that uh, God will bless you and, and keep you. And we'll talk to you next time. Thanks so much. Bye now.